Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing now is taking word problems and we are creating uh, diagrams. We're going to use an algorithm to solve and then we're going to check it. This is what I like to call Mac, M-A-C, as in the computer Mac or the big Mac from McDonald's, M-A-C. So M means the model, M, M stands for the model, A stands for the algorithm, and C stands for the check. Now here we go. So when someone donated 14 gallons of paint, let's circle that there, that's important information, to the Rosendale Elementary School, the fifth grade decided to use it to paint murals. All right, they split, okay, cool, that's an important word there, the gallons equally among four classes. Okay, so how much paint did each class have to paint their mural? All right, so we have a total of 14 gallons, that's my total. Okay, and I have four classes here, okay. So let's start drawing. I'm going to use a tape diagram for this. And this, my total here is always my, my full length here, from here to here, from one side to the other, there's my total. And in this case, my total is my 14 gallons. That's what's being split. Uh, how many parts is it being split into? Well, there are four classes. So I'm going to split my tape into four parts. Each of the parts is going to represent um, one class so each class and there are four of them okay so this sets up my problem what I need to do I need to take my 14 I'm going to divide it by my four classes and I'm going to set up an algorithm for that so 4 goes into 14 3 times for 12 I have 2 left over 2 out of my 4 okay 2 parts left out of, a, out of 4 groups gives me 2 fourths which means that each of these boxes is worth three and two fourths. Three and two fourths. Three and two fourths. Okay. Now I'd like to check this, and uh, the way I would like to check it is to basically re-examine my diagram right here, uh, and that's telling me I have four. One, two, three, four. Three and two fourths, and the total of that is going to be my fourteen. So let's take a look at what that looks like. That means we're going to take four. Three and two fourths. And I'm going to work that out. Hopefully that'll equal 14. So what does this look like? It looks like 3 and 2 fourths plus another 3 and 2 fourths plus another 3 and 2 fourths plus one more 3 and 2 fourths. Now if I was to add my whole numbers, 4 threes gives me 12. And add my fractions, 2, 2, 2, 2, that gives me 8 fourths. 8 fourths equals 2 whole because it's 8 parts out of 4 which gives me 14 total. And that checks out pretty well from there and with my total over here. Okay, for my final answer now, each class will use 3 and 2 fourths gallons of paint. Okay? Now, part B, it reads, how much paint will three classes use? You, uh, show your thinking uses wor using words, numbers, and pictures. I'm going to use Mac again, and this time, the only thing that's different here, here's my tape diagram, the total still 14. I have three classes, okay? So here's my each class again. All right which means my algorithm is still going to show 14 as my total, except now I'm put it, dividing my 14 into three parts, which means I have three goes into 14 four times for 12. Two left, I have two-thirds, okay? Which means each class is going to get four and two-thirds. Here they are. So my second class, here's my third class. Now to check this, I need to run the inverse. So I'm going to take three of my four and two-thirds, because I have three classes at four and two-thirds apiece. And now I'm going to evaluate this. So I have four and two thirds. I have a second four and two thirds. And I have a third four and two thirds. I add up my whole numbers. It gives me 12. I add up my fractions. Six thirds. Six thirds equals two whole. And that gives me 14. There I am. 14. 14. Total being 14. So in this case, in this case, in this case, each class will use four and two-thirds gallons of paint. Okay, so that's the deal.
All right, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.